Okay, we're going to do a simple dragon. All right, I'm going to start with um, using my number one one stroke brush from Camellia. And I'm going to go for a girly dragon at first. I'm going to use my pretty girl, loading uh, the, the darker purple and pink. Make sure that's wet enough for on my paper. Obviously, when I do it on the face, it won't be as wet. <clears throat> right. So, what we're first going to uh, start out as is you're going to come from the top of the head. Let's just see that you guys can see it properly. From the top of the head, I come from there and I bring it down. And now I go a little bit slanted, but out and bring it down again. And then come in and color in. Now I'm going to do the, the little bottom lip and that's just going to be a, a small half round. And then the chin part will do just now. I'm now going to turn it around and then come and do the top of the head. You can come a little bit rounder if you want. If you wanted a bit more of a, a girly look, then just push it from there a little bit rounder. And then from this angle, I'm coming down. Come on, not wet enough, sorry people. This paper obviously absorbs a, a lot of it. Now with my dark edge out, I'm gonna come around with saying my, making the top of my head a little bit round. Coming around here, and then as I get to the edge of the mouth area, I start going in. And now I come with the belly to the same come down until my belly is around about the same angle as that and then I push it back I haven't got enough paint on my brush just gonna go over that again so coming around from so I took that that point there rounded it a bit with my darker edge and then came around and then Changed my angle when I got to the point of that mouth. Changed my angle down until I get my belly in this line. And then I bring it down. Right? Bring it down and stop there. So I've got like a almost an S form. Now I turn my brush around and I got my darker edge out. And I come to where that um, so that point is where I've got my darker bit and I've got my lighter uh, pink bit. I now lay my brush down, my dark side, on the end of that darker bit. And then I just turn it. Just to give the little cheek. See? And automatically you can see where I'm going to place my eye. Gonna bring this this pinky part down. See, you can see immediately where where you're gonna be placing the eye part. So now I take my um, full bit, or yeah, my my full bit number six, as you can see. Load it with white. Make sure there's no pink in there. <laughs> and now I'm going to obviously keep my cute little eye. So I place that inside there. And I just give myself a, a round eye. Now it's bleeding. Which we don't want. So I'm just taking away a bit of the, the paint. And then at the same time, 
I'm going to come out and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick up a little bit. That's if you want horns. I'm going to pick up a little bit of the, the pink and I'm going to push up a horn here. So give it a little bit of a, a nose horn. Number one and then let's give him a one on the forehead as well coming up. Pushing it up. And then one over here on the head. Push it up. And we can do another. No, we won't. We'll just leave it at that. What I did forget to do with the ears. So taking the darker edge. Just lay it a little bit. Just with the darker edge, I'm just going to give a little ear sticking up and another little ear on the side and that one's going to be a little bit longer sticking up yeah and there's my little ears now we're going to do the wings i'm leaving my eye to dry while i'm now going to do the wings so now i clean my brush totally and I'm going to be loading now the white and the pink of the Purdy Girl. Load it nicely. Now I'm loading it a little bit wetter because I'm working on paper. I would not load it as wet as this when I'm working on a face. It's just purely because of the paper it absorbs a lot. But it's nice to be able to practice. So now I'm going to go above the ears. And I'm going to take it from here and I'm going to bring it around with my darker side forward. And I'm going to take it around. And when I've passed the ears, I start laying my brush down. And then I come into the neck area and I push it all the way along the neck area. I come in and I push it until I get to the lower neck. So that's one. And I load again. And I do the same, but then next to it. So I don't go as far back. I come in here. I hope you guys can see it. And I'm I've got my brush standing on its on its end, say now. And I come in, and then as I get to the curve, I start laying it down. And I push it, push it, push it, and I stop. Just past it. Just gonna take it to the this end here. Alright. Now my last one, I do three of these. And this is cute to do on the you can have the eye here. You can so this comes just, just below the eye by the cheek. So this will come so your eye. Your, a, a child's eye. Let's just do some little. So you could actually do this when the child's eyebrows here like this. And the eye is here. So like that. Okay, once again, the last one now. Pulling it from there on the the point, pulling it, pulling it, and then pushing down, pushing down, and stop. There we go. Just going to bring these in a little bit rounded. Yeah. Can actually bring this one over as well. It can actually look quite cool like that. Just a little bit over. Okay. So when you've done that, you can load with your dark brown. Darkness that is and then just around these little things the little horns 
I make a circle and a stripe up, another stripe up. It's not loaded properly. You can also do that with black if you if you would prefer it. Um, like I've said in my previous videos, I find what happens if you go with black, you can make it very smurry very quickly. So I tend to just keep it with my... And let me put the little nose. I can always still come in with my black afterwards. And now this is a happy, this is a girly one. So this is going to be a happy little fat cheeks mouth and take the cheek up like that see bring the cheek up just outline this bit bring up not on my little horn come around my little horn bring him around a couple of little stripes upwards Take a little bit of uh, black. It's gonna I find in this purple it doesn't come up as, as good. I'm just gonna take a little bit of black. Do you see how strong that black is immediately? It's very, very strong. Okay, now just a couple of lines, outline the edge. Her little ears, the inside of the ear. You can put little fluffs on the on the ends of the ear if you want. I mean, it's your dragon, so you can do whatever you you wish. Smiley, a little cheek. And now you'll see just now when I go on to the, the other one, it has exactly the same what I'm using now. I'll be using the same method. I'll be using on a little boy's dragon. Okay, now for a girly's dragon, you go very thin. You start out thin. And then at the end, you make it a little bit thicker. And you flick it out. As if you're going to give it some eyelashes so thin and then come and flick it so we can give give her a couple of pretty little eyelashes gonna make her a pretty girl and I'm gonna bring this out here come in there and around and then Okay, isn't she cute? She's a cutie pie. Now, um, along this chest area, you could, if you wanted to, um, go back in there. So I'm going to show you an, uh, what you can do. You don't have to. You could also just now use a um, your pencil and just make out as if they are uh, these chest area bits but I'm going to to load my brush again with my white and my pink yeah and I'm going to come in here again and come from this side to my point here and then just push it out one two three four five and then along this edge I just color that in a little bit and now you can take your black and come along here and actually fill that in and then just outline but you could also just do this outlining without um, doing this extra white yeah 
Oops. And once again, this outlining that I'm doing of the wings is not necessary. You don't, you could leave the wings just like they are. Maybe just bring an outline at the bottom here like that to depict where they're going to. And because I don't like those hard lines in my wings, I'm just going to go with my blender brush and just blend it out a little bit so that it fades away a bit. Yeah, well. That's this side. Just fade it. Yeah, well. There we go. Just an extra little dot in the eye. The white highlights. Don't like the one above the eye, just fade that one a bit. Not really necessary to do this, obviously, and just leave it like, like it is. Just you don't have to put extra highlights on there. Hey. So this would be the uh, the little female uh, dragon that I would do by the eye, by the cheek, by the you know. This is just a very easy, simple, quick design. Now let's go over to doing the uh, one for the boys. And for the boys, I'm going to be using. Um, it's actually out of my my palette box, the um, All Stars palette, and I'm using the, the green, um, I'm not quite sure who's, who's uh, I think that's just fresh grass, this one, fresh grass in a smaller, smaller form, and now I'm going to load the green, the darker green sides, and just the tip of a of the little bit of yellow with my number one again eh? when you're doing children you I, I i really go bigger you know when i'm doing things like this like dragons i really go bigger than uh sorry i'm just washing my fingers really go bigger than a number one to do little dragon faces and that okay so loading the the darkest part of the fresh grass and just catching just a little bit of the of the light a bit yellow now with your darker side up we're gonna do another boys drag uh, boys dragon now so same thing coming from the top let me just give myself a little bit of space for his wings um the light side at the back, dark side in front in this case. And you come around and down and around. And back. Color in with the light a bit, that section. Don't go too far. Because you want to keep that bit that shows you where the eye must be. 
makes life easier for yourself. And you don't have to put too much white in. And then we take, start down here, and we give it a smaller lip. And you go back. And you stop. Now we're going to do the top of the head. Let me just load it more so that I can take it all the way down. Actually, I'm going to load it with a little bit more of the light on it. I'm now going to So the part I'm going to load now is more of the light a bit and just a little bit of the dark, see? So I've got more of the light now and just a little bit of the dark. Loading that. And then you come, you can decide to leave his head quite flat. But I'm still going to keep him quite friendly, not too friendly, obviously. Now we come around and you go past that, that point again of where the, the mouth must be. Come around and remember this angle is where you want your belly to come out. So around and then coming back to where the belly must come out. And then we go back. Really come out and back. Just going to go over it again. Let's be honest, when you're doing it on a face, you don't have to go over it that much because it's obviously not as, it doesn't absorb as much as this does. So come out. And go back. All right. Done. So I'm going to bring some of this light a bit over here. Now we go once again. Now you can't really see it that well, but it, it, you basically look at the width of your brush that you had it on. That width, just come back. The darker piece I want, and I'm going to go and make a little U. Ching. There we go. That's his, his face. Using the filbert again, the smaller filbert, load with white. And now in this case, I don't want a nice big round eye. So as you can see, I've also just left, left a tiny little bit of an, uh, a space there for an eye. And I'm just going to lay it down like that. So I use, I'm using my full bit sideways, laying that down. Now we can do the same thing here um, with, with this full bit, is bring from the nose end and push out some. So picking up a little bit of the green and I can push out. We'll do one big horn here. And then we'll do a couple of little ones going up. Now I forgot the ears again. Do you see that? So let's put in some ears before we carry on going. Mm, I need to load a bit more of the green. Ears you don't want uh, don't want to go too big on the ears. Try and keep them a bit pointy as well. Otherwise, if you don't, you tend to go make it look a little bit more of a, of a horse and then you don't want that. Okay, let's get some little horns working here. A little bit too much green. Okay, I'm just going to leave it at those on the face. I think that's good enough. Okay. 
take my, I'm going to load my lighter side again. And I'm going to come in here immediately and I'm going to put in those, those U's quickly. That I said like that. I'll do that now immediately. And then I'm going to go on to doing the, the wings. Yeah. So once again, you load your lighter part and just touching touching the uh, the darker edge take it as far as possible to the front and bring it around and as you come around the curve you can start flattening out flattening out and going along the edge and I'm going to stop this one so it's as if the wings coming from behind yeah Reloading. Keeping a flat, flat edge. Bring it from there. Bring it around. And come down. Down. And we stop here. And another one. Bringing it from this side. Yeah. Bring it around and down. We're going a little bit over that eye. Doesn't matter. Okay. I'm going to leave it at that. Now I'll take my my black. Now, when you're doing a um, a dragon's eye that you want to make it a little bit cross, the best way is if you've got your your eye piece. Say this is my eye. You know what I'm going to do? I'm actually going to change the color of the dragon's eye. I'm going to make him even more fierce, and I'm going to load a little bit of a red. And I'm going to plonk that in here. Okay, it's become a little bit of an orangey because I've obviously got white in there. So it's lightning and yellow. Okay, there we go. So we'll do one here. So I've got that side sideways, yeah, because I want to keep him quite flat. Then you come from here, you go very thin, and you make a U. And when you make this U, you can push down a bit, so it gets a little bit thicker there. Then you go up to thin again, and then up here you bring it down. There we go. And then when you come and do the one on this side, you come from here, very thin, and you look, push it down. And you go back there. And you just give us thin eyeball like that. Yeah, so that gives you a very cross eye, as you can see. So that's what we're gonna do here, because this ain't a, ain't a happy chappy. The boys always love it when they fierce. The fierce looks so thin. Around the corner, a little bit thicker. Then you thin out again, and then here you thicker, and then you thin out. And then we take it from here, come in, lift it up, and bring it up towards that edge. And then we're going to close this off here, and close that off there, and then just bring a darker. Yeah, so that's looking fierce. Right, let's go. Let's go around these nose horns, or face horns. 
Okay. And I just outline on the on the one side just so that it comes up a bit. Just give a couple of these lines in it. Um, I'm hoping, can you see? I think so, eh? There we go. Don't forget to give him a, a nostril. And we're gonna come down here. Now we're gonna come to the mouth. So I'm not gonna give him a, a smiley face, obviously. So I'm gonna come down here and I'm gonna go zigzag. Rah. Yeah. He's mean, and we're going to give him a bit of a, a beard to make him a little bit more manly. And it's exactly the same, exactly the same way. Everything is the same. The only thing I've done different is now I haven't brought all the wings to the side. Um, and I've changed the, I don't bring the, the cheekbone up. So I don't come with this going up to, to give you the cheekbone, nice big eye. All those things just change it. It, it really does. And what we can do is we can come in here and bring some of this down. Mm, that's a bit too thick. So what we do, we use our eraser and we take it away. Yeah. So the same blender <laughs> I actually use as an eraser as well. See, if I find that that's just not not what I want, I just pull some of it away. Okay. Now we haven't really done much on his neck area. And we can leave that like that, but I'll show you what else you could do if you would want to. I'm just gonna do a bit of outlining here. We can do fire as well. And you can open his mouth a bit if you wanted to. And let's put a hook on here as well. Mm -hmm. Okay, what I'm going to do now is just grab my my black um, the blender palettes. That's this one. That's the um, powder, the high pigmented powder, number uh, 02 from Chameleon. I use that a lot. I'm just going to just touch a bit of. Uh, the black that I have and just put in a bit of that in here. Mm. I used my wet brush which wasn't very really clever. So erase it again. I'll be careful of that because I've got two different brushes. Make a brush. So let's put in a little bit of this darkness here. I can even put in a little bit of red so that my wings just get a, a red tinge. So I'm doing a bit of a reddish black.
Mm, we can bring that. Gotcha. And then I'm going to put a little bit more darkness here. And just under his chin. Now, obviously, all of this you can actually just totally skip if you've got a major line um, going. That's just not necessary. What I want to do is just give another thin little line above the cross eye. I'm just going to give him another like that. And maybe a couple of these. Mm -hmm. hmm. He looks mean, doesn't he? He's a mean. So I'll just turn it around on uh, a little bit of white. Forgot my white in the actual eye area. Got to give some highlights in the eyes just to give it just that little bit of a. And just take it a little bit up there. And along the. Actual. If you want to make him a bit fiercer, you can also just depict that there are some teeth here. I just drag my my brush um, sideways this long liner and then it just gives that but see-through whiteness on it There you have your dragons. So, same method I used on both of them. This one I've just made simple little girly, and that one a little bit fiercer boy. Very easy technique. Enjoy. Thank you. Bye.